to sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. In the sight of the nations he has shown his deliverance. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. As always, we pray uh, in this month for our college our community, pray for everybody else, that they may be safe. We pray for the end of coronavirus, and we pray for good health of your families who are here and your persons. Let us call to mind our saints as we celebrate the Eucharist. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to stand true. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us uh, say the glory to get us. We glorify God. The Lord is God in the highest. highest. The Lord has peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you are pleased to make new in holy baptism, may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart. And they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children, and to all those far off. Whomever the Lord our God will call, he testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them. Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 people's persons were added to that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord, Lord is my, my shepherd, shepherd. He has nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord, the Lord is, is my, my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me, in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me, all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. letter of St. Peter. Beloved, 
If you are patient when you, you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over one to the one who judged justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that free from sin he might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you have gone astray like sheep, but you have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your soul, the word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, saith the Lord. I know my sheep that mine know me. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <coughs> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere is a thief and a robber. But whoever <coughs> enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice, and the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, Amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and to, to slaughter and to destroy. I came so that they might, might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today is called Shepherd uh, Sunday. As we think of Jesus as our shepherd, our good shepherd. And he is giving us those examples, contrasts. This side, you have somebody you will let in, who will kill you and destroy you. The other side, you have somebody else who will you let them in, and then he'll take care of you, give you life. Which one do you choose? And most of the people choose the one who destroy them. So uh, Jesus tries to use the figure of speech to remind us that he cares. He cares about humanity. Jesus cares about humanity because there are so many reasons that humanity goes astray and let in the wrong person in their soul, in their heart. And remember <coughs> that heart, that soul, you are being as a door that opens from inside. And there is only one person who has that charge of opening it when the stranger calls, knocks, and it is you. Most of the doors have that peeping hole. You see, if it is Jesus, let him in. If it is not Jesus, don't let him in. But uh, if we let in the wrong one, then we are destroyed. We must 
even Jesus is saying, don't even worry about <clears throat> locking your door. I am the door itself. I'm the one who will let you go out and in for pasture and back. For pasture. When we read the word of God, when we read holy things, when we hear holy things, when we nourish our minds, when we receive the Eucharist, when we receive the grace of God, when it makes that goodness in us, yes, we can say, the Lord is my shepherd. He leads me to green pastures. He takes care of me. Because with the evil one, they let us out, and we think we are well, well nourished, and then he goes and slaughters us and destroys. And when Peter was talking, and it is not by coincidence that in the Acts of the Apostles, we are told about the preaching of Peter. And also the second reading is Peter, it is taken from a letter to Christians by St. Peter. Who is St. Peter? He was the first pope, that symbol of the shepherd. We have the shepherd, Pope Francis, and when we talk, he talks, let us listen. When our bishops talk, let us listen. Why? Because we cannot be at the same time the sheep and the shepherd. That becomes confusion. We must let ourselves be led. And when they heard that, they were cut to the heart. And they asked, what should we do? Get baptized, repent and get baptized for the Lord. That is simple. There is also another way to look at, at that care during the time of coronavirus. Many people, there are many people who are scared. Many, many people feel alone. Many people are confused. Many people have lost the sign of direction. We should also be there for them to reassure one another, to attend, to care for those who have nobody to care for them and uh, to check on everybody else. And I'm always so happy when I see the community that live here, everybody is accounted for, they feel good. And because we have to care about one another. Let us confess to it together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, the Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten of the maid, consubstantial in the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified, and at once chastised, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the giver of life, who proceed from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one, one, holy, covered with apostolic church. I confess one baptism to forgiveness of sins, that I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the one to come. Amen. Amen. of our prayers and petitions to God who hears our supplications. For our college community, that together we may live the gospel of the Good Shepherd in a spirit of peace and concern for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for our bishops and priests, pastors and teachers, that they may lead the church to God through Christ, the sheep gate. Let us pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who govern and conduct the affairs of nations, that they may enact laws and public policies which uphold the sacred dignity of every person as a child of God. Let us pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who speak for the persecuted and who suffer with the oppressed, that Christ who gives his life for his sheep may be their power and strength. Let us pray for the Lord. No, 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 no. For those suffering with coronavirus, and for the medical personnel who protect those, and for all the essential workers who help us through this. Let us pray for the Lord. Lord, no, 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 no. For the sick, the suffering, the recovering, and the dying, that by Christ's sufferings they may be healed. Let us pray for the Lord. No, 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 no. For our deceased relatives and friends, that they may dwell in forever in the house of God. Let us pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we now make in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray for the Lord. Hear our Lord, hear our prayer. O God, who is always present with us and hears our supplications, listen to our prayers we have expressed in our lips and those in our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which have us given human hands of men to become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer in fruit of the vine and work of human hands to become our special rank. Blessed be God. May the Lord sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for all the good and good of all his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the wonderful stage effected in this sacrifice, you have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we come to know your truth, we may make it ours by worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to obey you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is a ransom for, from death, and his rising the life of all have risen. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your face, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In the way, when suppose ended, he took the chance, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chance to his disciples, saying, 
Pick this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Save our Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, we charge spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Elizabeth, and Mr. Sapoteca, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who are united with your son, a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, all come then into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Peter, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. O oh, glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy will, will be done, done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily breath, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, which has been done to peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I gave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us we grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. For even reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not to the May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
true vine and you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him bears fruit in plenty. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray the prayer of Francis for the end of coronavirus. O Amen. May you shine continuously on our journey, journey as a sign of salvation, salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, to help, help, help and save. Who at the cross were near, near to the pain of Jesus, keeping your faith firm. And so we shall all people know what we will need, and we, we trust, trust that, that you will provide, will provide for those needs, provides for those needs so that as the king of God may join in celebration, celebration may return, return after this moment of trial. Help, help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the will of the Father, and to do what Jesus tells us. He who took our sufferings upon himself. And took up our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We seek refuge in your name of protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas, we who are put to the test, and deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. It is through the cross of our Lord in which we are united closer to Jesus and to one another. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, masses ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you for coming and have a blessed day, Lord. You too, Father.